Hey guys, this is a commentary for my visit to Toy Traders. It is a huge, huge, the biggest toy store in all of Western Canada. It's like a toy museum. Look, they got G.I. Joe's, boxes of vintage G.I. Joe's at the top. And what you're looking at right now is actually a diorama display, a G.I. Joe diorama display at the top of all the shelves. I know it's hard to figure out the, the whole geography of, uh, of how this actually works, but... Uh, they have all these dioramas built at the top of their shelves. You can see uh, these uh, uh, ships and jets. There you go, wide shot. They're hanging on the top of the ceiling. And look at these F-14 Tomcats. Holy cow, they got explosions and uh, they're, they're shooting at these, these uh, Cobra A-10 Warthogs. And it's, it's like a battle. They, they just took the time to really make these amazing, amazing sequences, uh, all made with toys. And uh, the owner's Matt, and Matt is a huge, huge uh, G.I. Joe fan. The biggest G.I. Joe fan you could ever think of. I mean, look how many <laughs> of these <laughs> planes they got just for this battle sequence. And here on top, you have a um, a uh, another G.I. Joe scene. And uh, this is using uh, all the um, the snow, the, the snow and winter uh, uh, themed uh, uh, vehicles, as well as soldiers. And this looks like a very exciting sequence. I don't even know the names of all the vehicles, but over here you have some uh, Crimson Guard. I believe they're Crimson Guards, and one of the twins on the mortar. Uh, I mean, not the motorcycle, the helicopter. Even at the bottom, you have like some things going on, and uh, there's a Silver Surfer, and to the left is an Ewok, and this is on the top of all their shelves. Here's some Kotobukiya. Uh, Star Wars statues. I love these guys because I, I used to collect these. I had a lot of them. I had a lot of troopers. And they're a great collection piece because they're some of them are you can get pretty cheap now. And um, I really like them all. Here's their Star Wars display. Their Star Wars displays, and actually all their displays are kept behind these plexiglass uh, uh, cabinets. And it's really cool because it keeps the cost efficient. Oh my god, there's the leg of Optimus Prime. That is like hot as hell. This thing is huge. <laughs> it's gigantic and I'm not really sure what it's made of, but it's cool. There's a, a, a Master Chief on top of these JLL stuff. JLL, JLA. <laughs> uh, Arnold. Uh, Predator at the back. Oh, look at that. That's a T-1000. And the, the, um, the, 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 the disc. The disc from the Predator. And this is a life-size endoskeleton behind a, a, a cage, a, a fence. 94 rounds in that uh, M4A1 uh, pulse rifle. Uh, not M4. I forgot what what it was, <laughs> uh, but but look at those lights flashing. That is so cool. Like Matt went all out when he decided to uh, decorate this. You got Star Wars over here, life size C3PO, and that is Superman going through one of those giant uh, Sentinels from uh, from uh, the the X Men universe. And what you're looking at right here, you can't really tell, but it's a uh, it's actually a building diorama. I, I don't know if I have a wide shot. It was pretty hard to get a wide shot of, of this whole thing just because it's at the very top. And for me to aim my camera that high, it just looks awkward. So I just got a whole bunch of close-up shots. But it's really a big Marvel diorama sequence where you have Fantastic Four guys and all kinds of other heroes and villains all meshed up in one. Um, you even have Mary Jane at the top left corner if you can see that. Mary Jane's right there, and they're fighting all these these Crimson Ninjas. Oh my God! Uh, this is a sequence from uh, He-Man, I believe. This is Castle Grayskull, I think. I'm not sure. There's a a cobra uh, <laughs> sticking out of the wall. That's a nice looking snake. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely the He-Man display because you got uh, He-Man guys uh, underneath. Here's a here's a, a cool sequence with Spider-Man. And uh, who is that guy? The scroll. There's there's Mr. Fantastic's arm, his elastic arm. You have some kind of a hawk, hawk person. <laughs> and this guy's wing is on fire. <laughs> there's a lot of battle going on with these. You know, with these these sentinels, you have to find a piece. Uh, you have to find a piece from all those Marvel Legends figures. And so there, he had to make a lot of them. There's a, a giant thing guy. I don't know what he is. Look at these 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 ninja looking guys. I don't know what they are, but uh, he's got a lot of them. And uh, Electra's there. I think that's Psylocke. He's, she's kind of blurry. Uh, Optimus Prime is carrying uh, 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 what's his name? Snake Eyes. 
animated uh, uh, Padme. I was going to say Adme. Uh, what the heck is this? Uh, I can't even tell. Is this... Uh, oh, it's G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Real American hero. There you go. There's that tank. There's that tank in mid-fire. Springfield Wax Museum. There's a big battle going on right there. Uh, <laughs> and like I said before, these are on top of all the shelves. This is a ruined city battle. Uh, there's, there's, I think that's Roadblock busting, uh, a, uh, uh, busting up a, a Cobra guard. There's Duke in the middle. And there's, uh, I think that's Baroness. I can't really tell. And there's a wider shot. And there's some Rocket Dude. <laughs> oh, I love these things. I always wanted his tank for it when I was a kid. Uh, there's, look at all those his tanks. He's got a ton of these things. Yeah, the, there was a lot of these these things on uh, up on the ceiling. You see that bright thing? That is actually a a, a fluorescent uh, uh, light. Look at all those his tanks. Those his tanks. That 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 brightness is a uh, flor. Oh, I had those pods. I did have those. I had one of those pods. I think I got it for Christmas. But um, yeah, that I was saying that. See this that whiteness at the at the corner that's actually a fluorescent lamp they have those all over the uh, like at the top of the the store um some more gi joe dioramas like i said matt is a huge gi joe fan and he had to buy tons of these guys to on ebay to get them over at uh uh, uh garage sales and, and flea markets he had to buy a ton of these to to make th these dioramas possible because you will see you will see like uh look at the see look at that look at all those clones you know Clones and clones and clones of of the same troopers. They're called army building. That's what that's what you call this. This is a army building in its truest, most hardcore sense. Really, really awesome. And tons of duplicates of the same vehicles. I mean, in order to make this like an authentic uh, battle and army, uh, you had to do some serious uh, duplications of the same uh, units. Look at these sentinels right next to the Death Star. <clears throat> And inside the Death Star, you even have a scene inside the Death Star. Look at that. There's troops rounded up. Uh, and that Death Star, if you can pay attention closely, there's a laser that is shooting the Borg cube. And uh, <laughs> you see those like gray lines? That's made of PVC piping, I think. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's being blown up by the Death Star, which is really, really awesome. I love how they did those explosion effects. It's just so cool. Here's the Endor battle. The Endor battle. Man, I wish you could see this in person, you know? Because, like, these videos don't do it justice. Um, it's really hard to film these just because it's just up so high. And uh, I'm shooting from a very, very far distance. Tidarium Shuttle. He got a lot of ad ads. And, um, those, oh, those are cool. Uh, these ATSTs. Those are looking good. There's Ewok Village. Look at that battle. Scout troopers and all. <laughs> Scout Troopers invading an Ewok village. Pretty awesome. It doesn't get any cooler than that. Oh, look at that. That's the... Uh, these A-Wings and B-10 bombers. More A-Wings just above a Hoth battle. Man, it's crazy. A-Wings, B-10 bombers. In Empire Strikes Back, there are the Wampas. If you don't remember or if you didn't already know, Wampas actually invaded Hoth base. Uh, in Empire Strikes Back, but in a deleted scene, 